Nicholas Stadden talking about reviving a transplanted hosta. Every now and again we have a plant that is not doing too well in the garden or in a container. Hostas tell us quickly when they need reviving. So maybe they're flagging down. It's been a very hot day. They're starting to weep. They look dry and instinctively, da -da -da, H2O. So out with your watering can and give the plant a good drink at the base, whether in the landscape or in the container. Now, another situation is when you transplant the plant from the nursery container into the ground or into a clay container, sometimes they go through transplant shock. And it's easy to snap a plant out of transplant shock. Water is another good way. There's a great product on the market called vitamin B1. And vitamin B1 is a root stimulator. So when you first put the plant in the ground, to avoid transplant shock, follow the directions of the bottle. Just a couple of little glugs into the watering can, mix it with the water, and then give the plant a good soak. It stimulates the root action. You can also use sea kelp and fish emulsion as a liquid form. All these things are absolutely fabulous for the plant and they help revive it if it's gone through some type of shock. So fertilizer also helps revive plants as well. But normally I use a slow release fertilizer. Here's a great example. Slow release fertilizer actually takes several days to get going. So you might need a faster acting fertilizer, something that would be water soluble and contact your local nursery expert because they can help you with your buying decision. So there you have all the tips. It's really easy to get those hostas looking great again if they're just a little on the wilted side. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia Nursery talking about reviving transplanted hosta.